I'm in the we show. are live. You're in the Hello, show. It's everyone. happening. Here we are. Oh my gosh, Linz, we are so excited to have Queer Kid Stuff back again today. Woo woo, woo woo. And I heard that you were talking about some of my favorite sea creatures. You're not talking about seahorses, but you are mm -hmm. talking about sea creatures today, mermaids. Mm -hmm. So we are really excited to have you here. Uh, everyone, I'm Tristan Reese. I'm the Director of Family Formation at Family Equality. We're the nation's leading nonprofit dedicated to supporting LGBTQ plus families and those who wish to form them. Um, we're doing so much work at Family Equality to create events for all of you, and for parents, for kids, for teens, for people who want to become parents. Um, some of the amazing events that we have coming up this week, we are doing um, a meditation and mindfulness session for parents this week. We're doing um, stress management for fertility patients, um, LGBTQ plus people who are hoping to form their families or are maybe pregnant right now, or are maybe in the middle of a surrogacy process, or maybe we're supposed to be pregnant right now, but aren't yet. Um, and so we've got a lot of really fun things coming up. Um, and we are really excited to bring you Queer Kid Stuff, music and stories and crafts today, um, all focused on mermaids, which I don't know about your families, but my kids are obsessed with mermaids. So they are very excited to be watching this downstairs, but not upstairs because it's too loud. Um, they're, they're too loud. <laughs> So, um, Linz, thank you again for being with us, for dedicating your time, for bringing this magic and music to our families. And uh, um, to support Linz, we're gonna have a little banner where you can uh, tip, give a little uh, a virtual tip of real money to Linz and to keep Family Equality's uh, neighborhood, all these events going, please go to our website and contribute if you're able to, so that we can keep bringing all this magic to you. All right, Linz, take it away. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday morning slash afternoon weekly live stream with Family Equality. Thanks so much for joining me here. We're going to kick it off with just, just the theme song, just, you know, to keep it, keep it consistent. It's okay to be gay. this week's live stream. Um, I'm gonna do a song that you folks who've been tuning in are very familiar with um, because I wanna talk about mythical creatures today. Ooh, someone on the horn right outside, thank you for that. Um, aw, that's very, thank, thank you so much, Anne, Anna. Um, this is the best part of her week. Um, that's very, very kind. Um, so before we get into our mythical creature of the week, we need to talk about my favorite mythical creature. Does anyone out there have a favorite mythical creature? If you do, please stick it in the comment section down below so I can see. I want to know what all of your favorite mythical creatures are. But today, we're talking about a mythical creature that's very important. Before we get to them, we're going to talk about my favorite mythical creature, which is a unicorn. I love unicorns. They're so cool. And but before we talk about unicorns and do the song, we need to know what animal unicorns are kind of like. What animal are unicorns like? Are unicorns kind of like a dog? What about a goat? Or a cat? Those aren't right, right? Does anyone know? I think I can hear you through the screen a little bit. Just say it a little bit louder. That's right, a horse. And what sound does a horse make? Does it make a noise? No, that's not right. What about a neigh? Yeah, that's right. All right, everybody neigh with me. One, two, three, neigh. Wonderful, thank you for all of your neighs. So when I point at you, we've done, for folks who tuned into the live, live stream before, you know how this goes. When I point at you, you're gonna neigh really, really loud, okay? All right, just so I, so I can hear you through the screen. That's very, very important. I have to be able to hear you. So on three, we're going to practice. One, two, three, nay. Perfect. Very well done, everyone. We're going to do the unicorn song. If you know the words, please sing along. Very nice, cause you 
out there in the audience today. All right. So we've talked a lot about gender and something that I talk about a lot on queer kid stuff is gender. And I have a little gender song that I've been doing. Um, I'm not gonna do that today because I have a different gender song. I know, I have two gender songs, whoa. This song is very special because it's talking about how to talk about gender when you speak Spanish because oh, gender can be a little funny when you're speaking Spanish. Am I right for all those Spanish speakers out there? So this song in particular is about gender in Spanish. Gender is a little silly cuando hablo español porque tantas palabras son femininas on the school leaders. What do you think I should do? Do they see this? 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 Do you decide? Do you decide? You decide. You decide. You decide. gender my apologies for any pronunciation it's not great I, um wonderful all right so that's going to bring us into our story time we're gonna do our craft after the story time um now if any grown-ups want to grab some stuff for the craft today you're just gonna need some colored pencils paper of some sort any kind i'm just using this piece of paper um scissors and and like a I would say like scotch tape or something like that. Pretty simple craft today. But before we get into that, we're gonna read one of my favorite books. Julian is a mermaid. All right, everyone can see. Can everybody see that? Yeah. Julian is a mermaid by Jessica Love. All right. Ooh, I'm about to swim in. Oh, I wish I could go swimming right now. Doesn't that sound nice? Julian is a mermaid by Jessica Love. All right. This is a boy named Julian, and this is his abuela. And those are some mermaids. Julian loves mermaids. While Julian's on the train, he imagines. Anyone ever daydream on the subway? Or when they're commuting to work, back when we did that? That's what Julian's doing. Julian is imagining himself with all the fish in the sea. Look, aren't they cool? I think that koi is probably my favorite, or the stingray right here. 
take a look and see which one's your favorite. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, Donnie, you love this book. It's a wonderful book. And Julian imagines himself as a mermaid talking to the great big blue fish. Isn't that cool? Look at how gracefully he swims. Oh, but the subway stops. Vamanos, mijo. This is our stop, says Abuela. And the mermaids wave goodbye to Julian on their way. On their way home. Abuela, did you see the mermaids? Asks Julian. I saw them, mijo. Abuela, I am also a mermaid, says Julian. All right, Julian, Abuela says. I'm going to take a bath. You be good. Do you think Julian's going to be good? I don't know. What do you think he's going to do? When Abuela went to the bathtub, Julian had a good idea. Julian took off his shoes, took off his shirt, took off his shorts, and he went to the potted plant in the living room. And he decided to take some of its leaves and make a crown that he put on his head. And he took a couple of flowers and he took up Wayla's lipstick. But Julian's costume for a mermaid wasn't quite ready yet. So he eyed the curtain at the window and he took down the curtain and he made that curtain into a mermaid tail. And Abuela came out of the bathroom. <gasps> oh! What do you think Abuela thought? Julian maybe thought he was in trouble. Uh-oh. Julian looked at what he'd done, the curtain and his lipstick, and he looked at Abuela. And she said, come here, mijo. What thing's going to happen? I don't know. And instead of getting Julian in trouble and telling him off for not doing, for taking down the curtain and making the plant crown, Abuela said, gave Julian his pearl necklace. For me, Abuela, for you, Julian. And together they went outside, Julian in his mermaid costume. Where are we going? Julian asked. You'll see, said Abuela. Hmm, where do you think they're going? I don't know. Mermaids, whispered Julian. Oh, look at all the mermaids and the sea creatures. Where do you think they are? Like you, mijo. Let's join them. Look at all those beautiful mermaids. They went to the mermaid parade. That happens every year. Well, maybe not this year, but every year on Coney Island where everyone dresses up like mermaids and they all meet all together. Oh, and there's another little kid. And they do. They join the mermaid parade. My favorites are See, that's one of my favorites. I love that headdress right there. Oh, how exciting. The end. That was Julian is a Mermaid by Jessica Love. I love that book. All right. So today is all about mermaids. And I think what we should do today, we're going to get into a little craft. We are going to make some crowns, some mermaid crowns of our very own. So I'm going to just I'm gonna see if this works. Oh, there we go. Bless you, Hillary. Sorry. My partner's sneezing in the background. Hopefully my dog doesn't bark. Okay, so hello. Ooh, this is kind of cool. You can actually, this is this is working. Excellent. Um, so I've just got a scrap piece of paper right here. Um, and I've got some tape and I've got some scissors. The grown-ups are the only ones that were allowed to touch these scissors. And I've got some like coloring things. Um, and I've got just like a regular old pen, pencil works. So 
Um, full disclosure, I am making up this craft, <laughs> um, but I think we're gonna have a great time. So we're gonna take our pen or our pencil and we're gonna draw the outline for a crown. So we're gonna do just like a line, like a straight line across the paper. I would say like about two inches wide, maybe like an inch and a half. So just draw one straight line. And you're gonna do that on the other side of the paper as well. So we have two strips of crown. And then we're gonna make the shapes that will be the top of our crown. So I'm gonna do, leave a little bit of space over here, maybe like start over here. And I'm just gonna do like big triangles, just like that. You can do any kind of shape you want. These are just my shapes. And we're gonna, oh, sorry, I just go all the way down. All right, so everyone got their shapes? We're doing a shaped crown, and then we're gonna turn it to the other side, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we just like a little bit of room right there, and we're gonna just try not to overlap them, but we're gonna do really big shapes, my triangle shapes like that. All right, and like that. We'll see how this turns out, should be interesting. Okay, cool. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our scissors. Grown-ups are the only ones who are allowed scissors in this craft. And we're gonna cut out that shape. And I'm just gonna do one half of it for demonstration purposes. So you can do both sides on your own. All right, so we're cutting out these shapes. I think this craft will work, we shall see. Very exciting stuff watching me. Use my scissors very carefully, making sure we're getting all the shape right. Okay, and we're gonna be mermaids after this. We're gonna be royal mermaids. Okay, there we go. You can use any old piece of paper for this. This is just some sort of scrap paper that I grabbed from my desk. All right, there we go. We're cutting out the final shape. All right, and you're also gonna do this with the other side as well. And what's very important is that we need to decorate these two. All right, so you should have kind of like a funky shaped thing, like strip like that. Um, and I'm just gonna really quickly cut mine out on the other side so that we can do this together. Woo. Very fun shapes. Water. I'm doing it quickly, but you all should take a little bit more time to do yours so you don't hurt yourselves. All right. I hope everyone's having a good time. Thinking about how they're going to decorate these. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Almost there. So close. Okay. Cool. I know. And put the rest of my paper away. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape these two strips together so we have one big crown. So we're gonna take our tape, whatever, whatever tape you have at home, and we're gonna tape these together on both sides. There we go. Both sides, make sure they're nice and secure. All right, and then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some of our coloring materials, and we're gonna color them. I'm just gonna do a really quick color. You can do your own fun coloring at home. All right, cool, there we go, nice orange crown. Why not? All right, and the most important part, we're gonna take our crown, and we're gonna put it on our heads, and it should be big enough. Mine is not quite, long enough around because I'm a grown up and I have a bigger head than kids. Uh, and if it's not big enough, you can just attach a little extra paper. That's what I'm gonna do so that I don't tape my head. All right, and here's what we're gonna do. Once we get that going is, we're gonna take another piece of tape, one more piece of tape, and we are going to Measure it around our heads and our grown-up while we have it on our heads our grown-up is going to tape it for us in the back 
And then you got a crown. Look at that. I got a little crown on my head. All right, cool. So we are all royal mermaids on our arm street. Cool. Um, let's see. We did the song last week, but I feel like, ooh, we like the crown. Awesome. But I feel like it is still relevant to uh, this week's theme. So we're going to do it again. Um, and I don't mind to repeat, I hope you don't. Um, okay. We, you probably know the lyrics to this. So, sing along with me if you like. If you want to get up, this is kind of like our dance party section, so we're gonna dance with our mermaid crowns on top of our head. song so definitely sing along with me if you know the words we're going to disney today Ooh, there we go look at this stuff isn't it neat wouldn't you think my collection's complete wouldn't you think i'm the girl or person who has everything Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think, sure, they got everything. Gotta scroll a little bit farther. Now I've got gadgets and gizmos plenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thing about? I got 20, but who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see you on the singing, dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> Flipping your fins, you don't get to. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a, what's that word again? Oh, street, up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free, wish I could be part of 
of that world. What would I give if I could live out of these waters? What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Bet young land they'd understand. Bet they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. I'm ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word, burn? When's it my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore that shore above? Out of the sea, wish I could be part of that world. There we go. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's my mermaid song. Um, and uh, we're getting to the end of the stream, so I'm gonna leave you with a little lullaby, I thought. All right, everyone got their crowns on still? Very important. Um, just this like very, very, this lovely song that I, I just love to sing. If you know the words, it's a classic folk song. Um, please sing along on your end. time chatting about and singing about mermaids and being under the sea um, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's live stream I'm doing this um, every Tuesday afternoon um, I think Tristan's gonna put the link to my Venmo in the lower third down there if you can tip I would be so so grateful that'd be wonderful and uh, I will see you next Tuesday all right cool bye everyone Goodbye, Linz. Thank you so much for being with us. We really love the Octopus's Garden song. The kids, oh, you can go ahead and repeat that every single week because my kids <laughs> really love it. <laughs> <laughs>
So thank you so much for bringing it, uh, bringing it to us. And make sure that you go to familyofquality.org to check out all of our other events. We have a trans parents meetup this week as well with a special guest, Aiden Dowling. Um, we have our fam families of color meetup as well this week and a very, very special Friday. We've got a lot happening on Friday. Nina West, um, one of our family's favorite drag queens um, who won Miss Congeniality on RuPaul's Drag Race is doing a uh, a story hour with us this Friday, which we're really excited about. It's sponsored by Our Shelves, which is an LGBTQ owned book subscription service for kids of all ages. Um, we also have tarot reading class for ages nine to 12 on Friday. And then we have our every Friday TGIF dance party which is just to make a distinction since all the days are blurring together now. It's just a way to say like, oh, the week is over. Now we get a weekend, even if it feels just like the week. Um, so that's why we're doing the dance party. So we are really excited to be bringing all of these things to you every single week. Um, go to our website to, uh, to be added to our email list so that you get a notification anytime we schedule a new event. Have a fabulous rest of your week, everyone. And, uh, and I will see you again, hopefully next week at the same time for Queer Kids Stuff's music time again. Bye everyone.